Get ready for an uncommon experience in the presence of God. Be expectant and open up your heart as God's word comes to you this morning. This is Mercy Moments with Pastor Shola Oshumakinde. Hello, welcome to Mercy Moments on a beautiful Monday morning. I'm Shalosh Shumaki Day. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and I will be glad in it. Lift up your hands and just bless the name of the Lord. Say, Father, I thank you. Oh, you are good and your mercy endures forever. Thank you, Father, because you are awesome in all your ways. Thank you for your goodness over our lives. Thank you for everybody watching, everybody listening to me. Thank you for their lives. Thank you for what we do in their lives this week. Glory to your name. Thank you. Thank you for your family. Thank you for everybody connected to you. Just give him praise. Say, Lord, you are good and your mercy endures forever. Glory to God in the highest. Hallelujah. Praise God. This is beautiful. Now this morning, I want to share something with you. The fact that you cannot be conquered by evil powers. In other words, there is no enchantment against you. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's a good news to somebody. It's a call to say, don't be afraid. Evil powers cannot overpower you. It's not possible. I'm going to read from you. See, God's word says it this way. 1 John 5, 4. Whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, our faith. Whatsoever is born of God, you are born of God, overcomes the world. Hey, I'm amazed that some Christians go to work afraid of people that are diabolical or somebody will do something to you, somebody will attack. No. You are born of God. You will always overcome because you have already overcome in Christ. Hallelujah. You know, there is a story in the Old Covenant that is very interesting. A man called Balaam, a prophet, hired by Balak, from Numbers 23 to curse Israel. But then I love verse 23. He tried to curse them. He tried to uh, uh, speak spells over them or cast spells over them. 
But God reversed it. He didn't let him cause them. Now Balaam said in verse 23, there is no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is there any divination. Oh, glory to God. No enchantments. <laughs> that was under the old covenant. We have something more real. No divination. I'm saying to you, child of God, don't be afraid of those who visit dark powers to gain promotion, to get ahead of others. They can't do you any harm. The word of the God, God's word says there is no enchantment. No charm, no amulet, no divination against Israel. Because greater is he that is in you than the one that is in the world. You know the interesting thing in the story? The children of Israel did not even know that Balaam was trying to curse them. They weren't aware that somebody was trying to cast a spell over them from the mountaintop. You see, if you are conscious of God's word, if you are conscious of your fellowship with the Holy Spirit, you will not need to bother yourself about who is trying to attack you spiritually. I know we are in the days where people rate too highly demonic spirit. They are there. They exist. The Bible talks about them. They are real. But the power of Christ in us is more real. So we don't need to bother ourselves about them. We don't need to be afraid of them. We are born of God. Ha. Glory to God. We are victorious in Christ. Balaam tried three times and none worked. And the people were not even aware of the fact that somebody was trying to do something to them. What is somebody planning to do to you? Don't be afraid. Greater is he that is in you. You are born of God. You have overcome the world. Hallelujah. Say this after me. I'm of God. And there's no power of darkness that can operate in my life. No power of darkness can successfully operate against me because I have overcome the world. Hallelujah. Say, Father, I thank you. When you see any of such things, just say in Jesus' name, I have victory over you. And that is it. Hallelujah. No evil power can overcome you because you are born of God. That's God's word to you this morning. As you go, in the name of Jesus, you will shine as light and darkness will bow to you. Men will see your light and glorify your Father that is in heaven. It's your time to shine. I bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. His goodness will be seen in your life and His mercy like never before. Till I come your way again next Monday. This is Mercy Moment with Shalom Shumakide on a beautiful Monday morning. God is good and His mercy endures forever. God bless you. Amen.